Right. I think it's not success is not that they became scientists and engineers, but it's really that they develop this strong sense of self-efficacy right. that uh, they can solve any any problem, right? Uh, and it just happens that engineering and technology are great tools. Um, but it's this mindset of innovation and leaders, leadership, right? Like you look at a phone and you're not scared to say, okay, I'll open it up and I'll see what's inside. Most people are afraid to do that, you know? So it takes some sort of courage to, to do that. Um, and uh, so, so the model that we came across, uh, we, we developed was that we would train engineers. They go through anywhere between like 10 to 40 hours of training where they learn how to communicate technical concepts. Um, and then they go into low-income communities, but children and family and parents together. And then they spend 10 hours week after week just building and exploring and learning things that align with the engineer's expertise. We have two programs. One is called Curiosity Machine, which is primarily for um, families and younger children, and it's physics and engineering. And Technovation is um, technology entrepreneurship for uh, middle and high school girls. And so girls identify a problem in their community, and they develop a mobile app and launch a, techno a technology startup. Um, and so we operate in 87 different countries. and. Uh, our mode is now where we provide the training, the content, and sort of the analytics uh, about how each of these stakeholders is interacting to different partner organizations. So we work with UNESCO, UN Women, uh, Peace Corps, and then that's internationally, but locally um, organizations like Boys and Girls Clubs and Girl Scouts and different school districts. So uh, we are shifting into this r realm where uh, we are more of a backbone organization uh, providing these core tools uh, to or, uh, other education organizations.